So recently I had this hub motor on this uh, Juiced U500 bike start to make some clicking sounds as I was riding it. It has an 8 fun 500 watt hub motor. See what the sound is and we'll fix it and put it back together. So we're going to go ahead and begin by getting this uh, nut out of the way. Before this, I went ahead and cleaned up the rim uh, with some simple green and compressed air just to get the dirt away from uh, dropping into the hub. I'll get all that out of the way and we'll go ahead and start by taking these screws off. A little bit of a crude way to get this thing to pop is lightly tap on the shaft on the back and it'll split the case in half. There we go. We're gonna go ahead and take the nut off this side since we have to slide the shaft all the way through and go ahead and pop the motor out. All right, we have the motor apart and this is the gear set that was making a noise. This is where it's gonna get somewhat interesting because we need to find what oh never mind this is what was making the sound in here all right so there is a washer a little wavy washer that eats up tolerance uh, between here and the actual hub and it looks like it actually just broke and was causing that clicking sound that's something that's actually kind of common in these motors is something like that will fall apart. And so long as you catch it early enough, you won't destroy these gears. Um, you can obviously get them, but it sucks to just, you know, have to replace those if you could have just avoided it by not riding when you're... At this point, I do use a little bit of WD-40 and compressed air to get uh, all the old grease out of here. Um, since WD-40 acts as a uh, sort of like a detergent to grease. Okay. I went ahead and cleaned all that out and got all the grease and everything out. Um, the reason I did that with the WD-40 was to break up any grease in these gears because they could be holding little bits and pieces of that washer that broke in here and I wouldn't be able to see it. What I did is break it up with WD-40, get the grease completely out of the hub, out of the gear set, so that we have a nice clean gear to reassemble. So the next thing I'll do is I'll go ahead and clean this gear up. I found another bit of a washer piece in here. Ideally, I wanna get this gear set off so that I could do the same procedure with uh, using WD-40 to degrease this and clean it up. So what I'm gonna do is put a nut on here and I'm gonna try to hold the sprag and gears and lightly tap that nut. Okay, this has a keyed shaft on it so it might be a little bit tough to get off, but enough finessing and it'll go. Uh, so one thing we want to be careful of is not to get WD-40 in these bearings uh, because we do not want to degrease those. We just want to clean up this. So we'll go ahead and be careful about that. But there's also a sprag in here that we want to make sure we do not get WD-40 into that either because there's grease in there as well. Okay, I got this thing pretty well cleaned up now. Um, what we're going to look for is we're going to go ahead and look at all these gears and make sure that there's no chipping or bending of the gear, no uh, compressed gears from smashing a washer in between it and the uh, ring gear. And we're just going to go ahead and just do that overall inspection, make sure they're all good to go. Now, if you do find something in one of these gears that's very questionable, then you're probably going to want to replace the gear or attend to it by cleaning it up. Actually like this right here. There's a little piece of this gear that is chipped back, probably from 
smashing a washer, so I'll go ahead and clean that up uh, with a file and get that get that tooth all happy again. I'm gonna be careful I'm not destroying the gear by doing this, but I'm just simply reshaping the gear with a file so that this doesn't cause a future issue as we're riding. Looks like the rest of the gear is fine, so we'll go ahead and uh, check the others for the same thing. If we don't find anything, we'll put it back together. Looks like it's okay. I'll go ahead and clean this up too with the same procedure of using WD-40 in air. And again, I'll be careful not to get it uh, anywhere else besides this. But we'll get the grease off of there and go from there. Okay, we have a pretty well cleaned up uh, gear set here. I'm gonna go ahead and grab some fresh grease for this gear set right here and get these gears all greased and put this part of it back together. Keep in mind this entire job is pretty messy, so just bear with it. In terms of what grease to use, I personally just use wheel bearing grease, but some people might differ on what to use for these things, but that's all I've ever used. I've never had a problem with uh, with it, so that's why I use it. At this point, I usually just take a socket. I make sure that the keyways aligned here, make sure that the gears are remeshed, and I'll go ahead and lightly put it back on. Now we're gonna go ahead and reassemble this uh, hub assembly. They did have that washer that blew up in here before, and that washer, I did go ahead and measure it with a pair of calipers and I got about 12 thousandths thick on that washer. Now that washer had a bit of a wave to it, and the reason they do that is they put the washer between here and this bearing to keep a very, very, very light pressure uh, against this to push it against the other side of the hub. And all that's really doing is chewing up an intolerance of this hub motor to this uh, inner planetary system. I'm gonna do something that sounds wrong, but we're gonna go ahead and reassemble it without it. The fact that it was only that much tolerance doesn't make a difference uh, as far as the gear mesh between here and here, especially since it was that type of a washer. All it was doing is eating up that tolerance, which it still was able to move over back and forth because it did have that slight wave in it. So reassembling it without it Shouldn't cause a problem. I've never had an issue. So we'll go ahead and do that. I'm tightening this in a crisscross pattern to make sure it seats that down properly. All back together. Okay, so I went ahead and put the wheel back on the bike and let's give it a run up and see how it sounds. Well, the bike sounds great. I'm stoked. I hope that video was useful for everybody. And until the next time, we'll see you later. Bye.